Hello everyone. So okay, I I just see, saw this. I was just going through Sith uh, Sith channel and well, Path of Exile review is sponsored too, but it's just a picture of a Trump. <laughs> Path of Exile. <X> okay, <laughs> that makes so much sense. But I mean, did he get? No, he didn't. <laughs> he didn't. God damn it. But yeah, I I heard about Path of Exile too a lot. But what is this? Hey hey people, Seth here. Let me tell you about a game I've played on and off for years, Path of Exile. Path of Exile is a free-to-play Diablo clone action yeah. RPG and much more of a spiritual successor to Diablo 2 than free could ever be. It's made by Grinding Gear Games, a Chinese Skinner Box company operating in New Zealand, a lesser-known colony oh of my mainland China. It is- the Why is it so good then? Holy shit. It's Listen, man. Sometimes other countries make so much better like content. Like oh, look, look at like, like at Europe. Look at Europe this year. Look at like Japan alone. Holy it's, shit! In the spirit of Diablo, again, clone, they had to a chill huge grind fest for items and money, but there's and layers of complexity to keep you interested. Yeah, first. yeah, modding. Fuck you, Capcom. Fuck you, Capcom. Seriously, what the fuck was that shit? What the, what the fuck? Like, that's the best part of your game, when gamers actually want to change things. That's when you should take a hint and make those changes. There's layers of complexity to keep you interested. For a start, all your skills come from gems, which come in two forms, active and support. Active gems do stuff. Support gems modify the stuff they do. All These right. need to be socketed into items to do stuff, and linked if you want to support gems to actually- Linked. What the fuck is linking, dude? What? Affect the active gems. This leads to some creative and retarded combos. Cast on death is a perfectly valid way to play, and don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. <laughs> There's multiple characters to play with their own backstory to how they ended up on the path of exile. Trademark copyright. Basically, everyone who does bad shit in Oriath gets sent to Rayclast, where they'll probably die in exile. The Templar questioned his faith. Okay. The witch had her house burnt, so she fried some boomers' kids, and the marauder. <laughs> didn't meet diversity quotas. <laughs> Most of the classes have good reasons for being shipped off to Ray class. My favorite has to be the duelist, because his entire reason for being here is literally some nobleman talked shit to me. So, I fucking killed him. Genius. Ge what a yeah. guy. You can see where the inspiration <laughs> came from chat. for all the different settings. Rayclast is loosely duelist. based on New Zealand. <laughs> yeah, don't talk shit to a fucking duelist. Did you know your came class, from, bro? For all the different settings, Rayclast is loosely based on New Zealand. The forests are filled with koalas <laughs> who sense. want to tear your skin off, and the Isn't beaches are Australia? filled with meth heads who want to stab you for your wallet. Your skills mix with your gear, and these in turn are influenced by your passive skill tree, which is fucking massive. Just look at this shit. Every class Class starts in a different Jesus spot in the tree, Christ. but all the passives are what the same. The Classes get to choose unique passives later on. This might sound very complex at first, and then you'll realize that nothing fucking matters except more life and damage. I recommend the first <laughs> yeah. time you play to just do your own thing and experiment. Then, once you hit a brick wall and Health can't and progress damage, any further, look Maybe up one armor. of the most meta builds for the current patch and brainlessly steamroll through the content. It's a learning experience, and there's a lot to do. Finishing the main arc of a story is just a start of Endgame, where you will autistically tweak out your characters with more and more ridiculous setups oh until you God. burn out and stop playing until the yep. next league. The classic the life cycle league? of most Diablo clones. Or, <laughs> in the case of one like of my Genshin. friends, finish Act but 3 so and much tell me better. Holy shit, the fact that you can actually do all these without time get, I assume, right? There is no time getting in this game, except the next update, right? So you can just fucking go and do whatever the fuck you want and build your character amazingly. The game's too short because he yeah. missed the exit leading to the other seven acts. When asked about his build, he said, what do you mean linking gems? I've just been using Heavy Strike. Yeah, Path of Exile them. has a bit of a learning curve, and it's not for brainlets. But as long as you come from a civilization that's discovered fire and has some frontal lobe development, you'll be okay. Each league puts a new spin on the game mode, giving you new ways to grind, and you can choose to either play a softcore or hardcore. Hardcore oh players are, of course, the vegans of Path of Exile. Oh, what the, the why are you why are you doing it like that what the fuck is with the style and we all know the there's neck? no such thing as a quiet vegan if you interact with a path of exile player they'll either tell you that they also play and enjoy the game or they'll start screaming incoherently that they only play hardcore solo self
They also play and enjoy the game. Or oh, they'll no. start screaming incoherently, but they only play hard. <laughs> what the fuck? That's actually, I would buy that. That is so confident. Like two people, you can, yeah, yeah, your brother can sit on that and play games. One of you are gonna not have a bag, but again, holy shit, the fuck. Jesus, that poor eagle. Poor solo cell found, and that they desynced for one millisecond yesterday and lost their character for the third time this week. As a free to play game? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Was that a bot of Their soap? character for the third time. What is that? Is that I assume that's like a cube of watermelon maybe hopefully or ice cream this week, ice cream. as a free-to-play game half of exile Orange servers sometimes aren't the best and you can rubber band or desync this isn't a problem for a regular well, that's a that's the worst part Their of character hardcore, for the third it? time this week as a free-to-play game it's half of exile servers sometimes aren't the best and you can rubber band or desync this isn't a problem for a regular human being hardcore players will however pathologically blame everyone but themselves for dying and demand a server rollback each time it server happens. Rollback. This pathological behavior extends into Get their the private life, out. as many of them have, unfortunately, lost custody of a kids. Siphoning alimony payments into microtransactions ensures that their spouses receive minimal support. Their children may have mandatory visitation days, but they universally hate it. One child I talked to, Timothy, was brutally beaten with a bamboo stick after he picked evasion over a health node <laughs> on the passive tree. And you know what? He got off easy, but the game is evasion over a health node on the passive tree. And you know what? He got off. <laughs> off easy, but the game is completely free. The only money you spend on it is on microtransactions, which don't directly influence gameplay. Even if you're not interested in cosmetics, you will sooner or later need practical shit like extra stash tabs and specialized oh tabs God. for Fuck that. Holding currency items. Speaking of currency, that is the primary objective of this game. Obtaining currency. Unlike Fiat banking. Okay, I'm gonna stay into that, man. What the fuck is those? Hopefully those are just like maybe like honor and stuff like that. It's not just like just... Oh my god systems in modern countries, the primitive people of Ray class trade items for rocks of different colors. You can smash these rocks in your equipment, denting and changing them in the process. An exalted orb is one of the most valuable rocks, and many players haven't even found one. Chaos orbs are far more common rocks, but appropriately rare enough that they're the gold standard for trading. The main point okay. of Path of Exile isn't the creative builds, the metagame, or the challenge of getting to max level. It's trading. I sit here all day, plugged into Poe trade and I flip shit for hours and hours. I don't even leave my fucking hideout, which what is beautiful. What the fuck is that? By the way, I'm so glad I picked Haku as my master. What other master lets you place dead fish and rotting bodies on the shoreline? What other master allows you to block the entrance with sh what is a master? What the fuck? And pointy sticks. None of them. So this Haku. is your chat I'm hooked thing, into right? every like, API. Your... I've got that shit on live alerts. I've got Poe trade on my phone so I can lowball people for prices on alt accounts. I, I, I try to match Bob users frame, with man. known sex offender registries so I can blackmail them into selling their lore weave for cheap. I to make prints of all my shit? trades and fax them to children in Malaysia just to inspire them. I buy shit <laughs> cheap and I sell it higher. Why? For what purpose? That's to see the numbers right? Yeah, at its heart, this illegal. is the real Should meaning I mean, of Path of Exile. It's a cutthroat world out there, more brutal than any corporate position, but less paid and with longer hours. Do you really think you've got what it takes? Being good isn't good enough. Not when you're competing with hundreds of Russian spam bots on auto refresh. Sometimes you'll even take a holiday to the beach, but you won't be able to relax. You'll spend all your time there sending out hundreds of trade requests a minute. There is no sleep. There is no rest. Just a 24-7 Beijing grind. You often do things so fast, you forget who you even message. What the fuck? This is, are those just the there messages? No are those parties? Just a 24-7 Beijing grind. And why is your FPS 7, man? I, You often do things so fast, you forget who you even messaged. Did Delve into my anus want 2C or 3C for that ring? Or was that little pump suck from a minute ago? And oh, you don't no. want to embarrass yourself by asking. Just act cool. Put a chisel on the table so he knows you mean business. Don't worry. He'll be back. <laughs> they always come back. Trading is a wild place. And you can also hang out. <laughs>
There should, I mean, there should be a global sign that, like, when when someone puts a chisel, they just mean, what the fuck did you want again? Like something like that. On a like global that. chat while you wait, which is a great and intelligent and place to be. The Currently, order. they're discussing if it's gay to suck your homie's dick. Ironically, but there's one rival in my quest for capitalist domination: China. The Chinese conspiracy on Path of Exile is plain for all to see. They've grown so bold they don't even bother hiding it. Chinese gold farmers running hundreds of bots threaten the stability of our yes, economy. They, it's that, they do it with every fucking economy. Every global fucking jet game, is right? often spammed with Chinamen with Chinese names like Ab <laughs> or as the <laughs> the asking you to go to dogfart.com so to buy exalt orbs and chaos orbs for the low low price of two dollars or one cent a piece respectively is grinding it, your games good? claims they do everything possible to stop gold farmers but i can see through their lies like rice grains ggg is a subsidiary of tencent which also oh, owns riot no. games and yeah, tencent well. is owned Sucks. by the dalai lama uh. Follow yeah. the paper trail, follow the money, and you'll find that GGG and the gold farmers are one and the same. Players will first buy currency from the Chinese orb cartel. The money is wired instantly by Western Union to the Dalai Lama, who pulls the kill switch and bans the player after several days. During those days well, of that's, decadence that's and luxury, really the player will get a taste for power, which is then cut off. Much like an addict, he craves for more exalted orbs, starts a new account, and tries to turn a new leaf but we all know how it ends but despite oh the strength God. of our enemies got, we will no. trade on Fuck. that's what path of exile means to that me went, or that maybe went, that, went, that went downhill so fucking fast enemies, holy we will shit. trade on that's what path of exile means to me or maybe it's my heritage speaking i mean we were expelled from over 200 mmos after all in all seriousness path of exile is pretty amazing for a free-to-play product if you like diablo or any of its derivatives you'll feel right at home with what i feel is a raw improvement over those old systems however Fuck. Keep in mind that Path of Exile started development centuries ago, and it's not very well optimized for your hard drive. So, if you can afford it, get an SSD and put Path of Exile on it instead. It should run like butter. The PvP arena is right. also really fun. Right. Stun locking people fun? never gets old. And remember to praise the All Holy Toucan daily on Global Chat. A temporary chat then is a small price to pay to see <laughs> all men of the world. United oh. in Very good game. Praise, it gets oh a my high God. score. The score is arbitrary. As always, more content yes. to come, so stay oh, tuned. I love this a warm shit. thanks to the many members of the Merchants Guild who have been generously funding and bankrolling these videos. This one is free, though. You're all truly wonderful. Have a good one. Hey, hey. You've been banned. Oh, he actually did it for us. He did. He went and <laughs> got banned for us. I'm gonna play it. Very, very, Path of Exile 2. I assumed I played Path of Exile 2. Is it out? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait is it the. Uh, is it on Steam? No, it's not out. I was gonna say, I played Path of Exile 1, but I didn't get that far into it because I just didn't know what the fuck to do. But maybe I give it another try now that I see the game at different stages of like progression. Because back then I was like a fucking stick man, just didn't know what the fuck to do. But it looks so cool. I'm looking at other videos, other games, older ones, but like just starting out to play something like System Shock, it's gonna like last what? Like few few hours. Like 12 hours, 20 hours. So it's not gonna be enough. I need an MMO. I need a good MMO. I'm to Path of Exile. It just looks good. And it's free. I don't know. If I, I, I can't. But yeah, see you all later. Thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed it. See you all.